హాయ్ ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఈస్ డాక్టర్ జీవీఆర్ శశీర్ రావు అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఏరోనాటికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ హైదరాబాద్ సో టుడే ఐ వాంట్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ టార్షనల్ అండ్ వెండింగ్ స్ట్రెసెస్ ఇన్ మిషన్ పార్ట్స్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ సో వీ విల్ సీ హౌ టు సాల్వ్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆఫ్ టార్షనల్ స్ట్రెసెస్ అండ్ వెండింగ్ స్ట్రెసెస్ యాక్టింగ్ ఇన్ అనే మిషన్ పార్ట్స్ so first we will see one problem in this problem a steel shaft is given uh, it is 35 mm diameter and 1.2 meters long so the diameter of the shaft is uh, 35 mm and uh, the length is 1.2 meters held rigidly at one end has a hand wheel 500 mm in diameter it is key to the other hand the modulus of rigidity of steel is 80 gpm so it is uh, gr c value so what he has asked what load applied to tangent to the rim of the wheel so it is produce a torsional shear of 60 mega pascal suppose for producing 60 mega pascal so what load is required to tangent to the rim of the wheel so how much load we have to apply so you have to we need to calculate that uh, applied load the second one is so how many degrees will be will be will be the wheel turn so that is when it is load load is applied so how much twisted so how much uh, turned in degrees in terms of degrees we need to calculate so first of all this type of problems first you need to write given data so in this uh, problem given data diameter of the shaft is given 35 mm so the r is equal to 17.5 mm you know already d by 2 and length 1.2 meters convert into mm that is 1200 mm and uh, the d capital d is 500 mm or radius 250 mm the capital d is here given the wheel diameter 500 mm so wheel or rim diameter is 500 mm clear and c is 80 g giga pascal 80 gpm 80 kilo newton per mm square tau is equal to 60 mega pascal So 60 newton per mm square convert into mm newton per mm square 1 mega pascal is equal to 1 newton per mm square so one so already you know mega pascal is equal to 10 to the power of 6 newton per meter square so now convert into newton per mm square 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 6 newton per mm square 10 to the power of 6 10 to the power of 6 get cancelled that is 1 newton per mm square so the load applied to the tangent to the rim of the wheel first need to calculate so how do you calculate by using torsion equation if you know that torque applied applied to the hand wheel you can calculate torque is equal to w to r so radius of the wheel is 250 and uh, w load we don't know 
we need to calculate load applied in newtons. Now, in terms of W, you will get torque applied. So now this torque have to substitute in torsion equation. The torsion equation already know T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to G theta by L. So here T is the torque applied and G is the polar moment of inertia and tau is the shear stress and R is the radius, G is the modulus of rigidity and theta is angle of twist and L is the length, total length of the shaft. So now calculate torque or torque already you have calculated in terms of W. Now J, polar moment of inertia. The polar moment of inertia is equal to y by 32 into the power of 4. So pi by 32 and uh, d is the given day diameter of the shaft is 35 mm. So substitute in this equation and you will get polar moment of inertia. So only unknown is here torque in terms of W, J calculated, tau, shear stress, shear stress given uh, in our problem, tau is equal to 60 megapascal and our radius, already you know, 17.5 uh, so substitute in this equation T 250 W Newton mm divided by J is polar moment of inertia already calculated here 147.34 into 10 to the power of Q. 60 is equal to tau is equal to 60 by R is 17.5. So now W is equal to twenty twenty newtons you got. So calculate this one and you will get twenty twenty two thousand twenty newtons. This is the uh, load applied to the tangent to the remove the wheel. The first bit, first one, first question what he has asked about load applied to the tangent to the rim of the wheel produce torsional shear of 60 megapascal. If it is producing, it is uh, producing uh, inducing 60 megapascal torsional stress, shear stress, what is the load? So that is uh, that part is completed. Now, second bit. So, how many degrees the wheel turn when the load applied? So, load is turn now, you know. Given load is you now the applied load is 2020. So for this load, so how much turn the wheel? So that is required number of degrees. So from torsion equation, T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to G theta by L R C theta by L. So here theta is angle of uh, um, uh, turning uh, degrees, the number of angle of twist. So now substitute all values in this uh, equation, empirical relation, T, a torque calculated already in the previous step, and J is polar moment of inertia, and uh, tau is shear stress given in the problem. Radius also given, G, modulus of rigidity value given in a problem, whole unknown is theta. So, in terms of theta, TL by C, CJ equation, you will get and substitute all values. And the torque is here W into 
W Newton M meter. So in the previous step, W Newton meter, 250 Newton mm. So here, substitute this value. W already calculated uh, 2020 multiply with radius. You will get torque and then uh, length 1200 rpm, uh, sorry, 1200 mm. And C, modulus of rigidity given in your problem 80 into 10 cube and J, polar moment of inertia. So, you will get 0 0.05 degrees theta. So, like this, uh, need to calculate uh, the number of degrees of the V when it is uh, subjected to torsional twisting moment. Next problem number two. A hollow shaft is required to transmit 600 kilowatts. See, in previous problem, the given type of shaft is solid shaft. But in this given shaft is hollow shaft. It is required to transmit 600 kilowatts power. So, given a power at uh, 110 rpm, this is n rotational speed. The maximum torque being 20% greater, greater than the mean. So, the maximum torque is 20% of the T mean. So, it means 20 plus 100, 120. So, 120 means 1.2 times of T mean. So, the shear stress is not to exceed 63 mega Pascal and uh, twist in the length of 3 meters not to exceed 1.4 degrees the data given and the shear stress also given 63 mega pascal so what he has asked find the external diameter of the shaft so the hollow shaft is having two uh, diameters inner diameter and uh, outer diameter inner and uh, outer inner and uh, this one is uh, outer diameter sharp heavy. So, if the internal diameter to the external diameter is 3 by 8. So, internal to external diameter is, is 3 by 8 given. So, the take modulus of rigidity as 84 giga Pascal that is uh, G or C. All values uh, given in this problem and uh, only need to calculate the external diameter of the shaft by using torsion equation. So, first of all, given data, rather than 600 kilowatts, 600 into 10 cube watts and rotational speed n and T max is equal to 1.2 times of uh, T mean. And uh, tau v is equal to 63 mega Pascal. So the T max 20 percent, 20 percent of T mean. So it means 20 percent, 120, 100 plus 20 of T mean percentage. So in, in terms of percent divided by 100, so you will get 1.2 T. So let T mean is the mean torque transmitted by the shaft. It is available from uh, power equation P is equal to 2 pi n T by 60. So D naught external diameter of the shaft, D A internal diameter of the shaft. So first calculate power transmitted by the shaft. P is equal to 2 pi into n, n given 110 into t. The, in, the, in this, you have to substitute mean torque. 
220 by 60. Now substitute all given values and you will get 11.52 times of T mean. So T mean is equal to 600 into 10 cube upon 11.52. So here you will get 52 into 10 to the 6 Newton mm. So now calculate the maximum torque. The max uh, the maximum torque is equal to 1.2 times of T meter. It means 20% of mean torque. So here obtained torque is mean torque. 52 into 10 to the 6. So, maximum torque transmitted by the shaft is equal to 1.2 times of Tb. So, so, considering strength of the shaft, the maximum torque transmitted by the shaft, so already you know T max is equal to 5 by 16 to turn into dq. This is for solid shaft. Already we have learned, have uh, discussed in a uh, theory part. Similarly for hollow shaft, 5 by 16 to turn into d, d naught q in terms of ratios of uh, internal diameter to outer diameter 1 minus k to the power. So, it may be written like this. Here, K is the ratio of internal diameter to outer diameter. So, internal diameter to outer diameter given in your problem. So, the ratio, the internal, internal diameter to the external diameter is 3 by 8. So, you can take directly K is equal to 3 by 8. Now, substitute those values in this and uh, you will get, so calculate first you substitute the max value, maximum torque, the maximum torque is equal to obtained uh, by using a given relation and then shear stress given, d naught we don't know. So we need to calculate D naught only. And the ratio given internal diameter to external diameter is 3 by 8. So substitute those values and you will get D naught. D naught is equal to 172.7 mm. So this is uh, for hollow shaft condition. The T max and uh, T minimum, uh, T mean, and then uh, how to calculate the external diameter and the internal diameter. So, if you know, uh, so the external diameter, you can calculate the uh, um, internal diameter by using this given uh, condition. So, D naught is equal to 172.7 mm. So, DI, DI is equal to 3 by 8 multiplied with D naught. So, 3 by 8 into D naught is equal to 172.7. So, like this, need to calculate uh, outer diameter and internal diameter of a shaft, hollow shaft. Next, the second case. So, in your problem, take modulus of rigidity and the modulus of rigidity value given G. So, that the design of shaft on the basis of uh, torsional rigidity also need to calculate. So, the second case considering stiffness of the shaft. First one considering the strength of the shaft. So, already you know uh, uh, as per uh, shaft design uh, procedure, the design of shaft on the basis of strength and then on the basis of torsional density. 
first need to calculate uh, on the st strength basis and then second apply the procedure uh, of um, torsional rigidity for the diameter the, for the design parameters calculation so take the larger one as, as a final uh, dimensions of a shaft so in this also now we are uh, considering stiffness of the shaft so again calculate the polar moment of inertia of a hollow circular cross section. So for solid set, you know pi by 32 into d to power 4. But in the case of hollow shaft, j is equal to the polar moment of inertia d naught to the power 4 minus di to the power 4. So take common here d naught to the 4 and uh, write down like this 1 minus di by d naught. Now you can write in place of uh, di, di by d naught is equal to k. For separate easy simplification, so k is k is the ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter. So substitute now the given uh, value di by d naught is three by eight. D naught uh, we don't know, and pi uh, by thirty two into d naught is four and one minus k to the four of four. Final equation and uh, you will get the polar moment of inertia in terms of d naught 0 0.0962 d naught to the power 4. So now apply torsion equation T by J is equal to C data by L, T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to C data by L or G data by L. This is the equation. So now substitute torque value and the polar moment of inertia in terms of d naught and then uh, tau value g data c value tau by r no need c t c and the data value so finally you will get T naught is equal to one seventy six point. So take a larger one out of these two. So previous one one seventy two point seven and uh, second case according to the uh, stiffness of the shaft. D naught is equal to one seventy six point two. So now taking the larger of the two values shall provide D naught is equal to one seventy six point two. Take standard value of the shaft, 180 mm. So like this, uh, how to calculate uh, the torsional and the bending stresses problems when the machine shaft is subjected to these two torsional and the bending stresses. The shafts in series and parallel. So up to now, we have considered only one shaft. Suppose when two shafts of different uh, diameters are connected together to form one shaft. So different uh, diameters. So this is one diameter uh, shaft, another diameter shaft. These two are connected. One and two. This type of, this type of shaft is called as composite shaft. For these shafts, how to calculate uh, um, polar moment and inertia and uh, shear stress and torque? You, you will see in the next slide. So, suppose driving torque is applied at one end and resting torque at the other end, then the shafts are said to be connected in series. I will show you diagram. So, in such cases, the shaft maintains the same torque and the total angular twist is equal to the sum of the angular twist of the two shafts. So total twisting is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2. And it transmits also same torque. The torque is same. T1 is equal to T2. Suppose if two, if two shafts are different diameters are connected together to form uh, the one shaft and uh, to carry the to, to transmit the power from one place to another place. These type of uh, shafts are called as 
composite shaft. So, I will show you the diagram. See, in this, first one is shafts in series. If two shafts are connected in series, this is first shaft and the second shaft with a different diameter. So, di diameter is uh, D1 and D2 and different lengths L1 and L2. So, torque applied here T. So, mathematically, the total angle of the twist theta is equal to theta 1 plus theta 2. So, already you know T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to G data by C data by L or G data by L torsion equation. So, from this equation, find out theta. So, T by J is equal to C theta by L. So, theta is equal to T by J into L into C. T L by J C. So, this is the angular twist. So, first shaft, theta 1 is equal to T L1 by C1 J1. Second shaft, T into L2 by C2 J1. Suppose, if the two, if the shafts are, two shafts are uh, made of same material, then the modest of rigidity, the C value is same. C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C. So, now equate this uh, the theta C1 is equal to C and uh, C2 also C. Take common T by C and you will get the equation T by C, C is equal to L1 by J1 plus L2 by J2. If, it, if two shafts are connected in a series. So, in this first case shown, the, if the shafts are in series. Second case, shafts are in parallel. So, when the torque is applied at the junction of the two shafts, so junction the, the two shafts, here applied torque in first case in series condition one end, one end at fixed end or either the free end, but it transmits same torque from one end to another end. But in this uh, case, uh, not like that, the torque applied at, uh, at the junction. So, resisting torques are T1 and T2 at the other ends of the shaft. So, one is uh, T1, another one is T2. So, different uh, torsion will be occurred. Here in the case, in series, T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T. So, the shafts are when it is uh, connected in parallel, the diagram shown in this, the length, different lengths and different uh, diameters, different uh, torques and different uh, angular twist theta 1 and theta 2. So, here in such cases, the angular twist is same for the both shaft. If theta 1 and theta 2 is equal to theta. In first case, uh, in a series, not like that, in different, theta 1 and theta 2. So, angular twist for the first shaft is uh, different and the second shaft also uh, different value. Whenever this, these two shafts are connected in parallel, then the torque applied at their junction. So, then uh, T1, T2 are separately calculate and the theta, theta is theta 1, theta 2 is the same value theta. So, now equate theta 1 is equal to theta 2 C1, T1 L1 by C1 J1 and T2 L2 by C2 J2. So, now the torque is at the junction the total torque is T1 plus T2. If the shafts are made of same material, Again, you take this uh, consideration with the same material C1 is equal to C2, then C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C1. So, 
So in this uh, equation, both are same, it cancel. So L2 by L1 is equal to J1 by J2. So T1 by T2 is equal to T1 by T2 is equal to J1 L2 by J2 L1. Yeah. So now we will see one problem on this parallel shaft and uh, series uh, series shafts. A, a steel shaft that is A B C D having a total length of three point five meters. The total length of the shaft is three point five meter. The consist of Three lengths having three different sections L1, L2, L3, like that, three lengths, and then different sections also having. The sections diameters are given. AB is hollow, so having outside and inside diameters of the 100 mm and 62.5 mm, respectively. AB is the hollow, so that's why TA given and D0. And again, BC and CD are solid. So, I will show you a diagram that is A, B, C, D is a shaft. AB is hollow shaft. So, that's why having inner diameter and a outer diameter. It has inner diameter 62.5, outer diameter is 100 mm. The complete uh, the other the B to C diameter is 100 mm and C to D is 87.5. 100 mm, BC has a diameter of 100 mm and CD has a diameter of 87.5. If the angular twist is the same for each section, the data is the same for each section. Theta is equal to theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3. Determine the length of each section, find the value of the applied torque and the total angular twist. If the maximum shear stress in the hollow portion is 47.5 mega and the shear modulus is 82.5. Gigapascal. So 82 gigapascal uh, convert into Newton for mm square. So this is the given problem. In this, you need to calculate, find the value of the applied torque. What is the T value? And then what is the angle? Twisting angle. So the given diagram like this. Uh, you need to draw for the given uh, condition A to B hollow shaft, 60 inner diameter uh, uh, 65 mm and uh, outer diameter 100 mm, and B to C, B to C is a solid shaft, solid one, this one also solid one, and only this shaft is hollow shaft. Inner diameter and uh, outer diameter and then the section C, D, C and uh, D, the diameter is 87.5 mm. The shear stress given mega Pascal in, in terms of mega Pascal, so convert into Newton per mm square. Similarly, G is in giga Pascal convert into Newton for mm square. So, 82.5 into 10 to the power of 6 Newton meter square 10 to the power, sorry, 10 to the power 9 and convert into Newton for mm square. So, that cancel the 10 to 9 and 6. 
So finally, 82.5 10 Q Newton for mm square. So the lengths are also different for AB section L1. Need to calculate, he has not given. So find the value, determine the length of the each section. So L also into section L1 and L2 and L3. L1 don't know, L2 and L3. The total length is available, 3.5 meters. So now calculate the first uh, one by one, uh, the AB section, what is the polar moment of inertia for AB, J is equal to 5 by 32 into dt for 4, this is for solid shaft. For all the shaft is already in terms of uh, D0, you know, 5 by 32 into D0 cube into 1 minus K to the power of 4. Uh, directly you can uh, write in terms of uh, D0 and uh, DI. Is so why? Because here K0 available. K is DI by D0. Inner diameter to outer diameter. If it is given, uh, so you can uh, substitute like this also. So polar moment of inertia d naught to the four four minus di by to the four. So the given d outer diameter hundred and sixty two point five also you know. Given substitute the values and you will get polar moment of inertia of the first section AB. AB section J one. This is for AB. Similarly, polar moment of inertia of this solid shaft BC. BC directly you can substitute 5 by 32 into D2 to the power of 4. So D2 diameter. D2 diameter almost 100 mm. So that is J2. So you will get 9.82 to 10 to the power of 6 mm. And uh, polar moment of inertia of the solid shaft CD. CD polar moment of inertia apply. This one also solid section. So J is equal to J is equal to 5 by 32 into D to the power of 4. Uh, sorry, D cube uh, D3 to the power of 4. For J2, D2. So now D3 value substitute 87.5 to the power of 4. And you will get 5.75 to the power of 6 mm. And the polar moment of inertia you got for, uh, for all sections. Follow first of all, we have calculated J, J1 and J2 and J3 values. So now apply the torsion equation. You now that angular twist. So angular twist is obtain this relation from torsion equation T by J is equal to tau by R is equal to C T by L. So take these two terms T by J is equal to C T by L. So theta theta is equal to T by J into C by L. So TL by sorry T by J into C theta into J C theta is equal to T by J into L. So theta is equal to TL by C J. So, the angle of twist for the first section that is AB calculate T1 L1 by C J1. So, like this AB section T1 is equal to theta 1 is equal to T1 T into L1 and C1 and J. So, here the material is same so that the C is equal to C1 C2 C3. 
the torque also equal t is equal to t1 t2 and t3 so theta 2 is different here so the theta 2 value tl by tl2 by c j2 at a uh, second uh, section bc solid shaft similarly angular twist for the solid shaft at a um, cd section so theta 3 is equal to tl3 by c j3 so first write down the equations and then uh, calculate angular twist So the angular twist for AB section and BC and CD. So now substitute. Since the angular twist is same for each section, the condition is given. So theta 1 is equal to theta 2. So now equate them and theta 1 is equal to theta 3. And uh, equate equate theta 1 and theta 2 equal values and you will get L1 by L2 is equal to J1 by J2 is equal to 0.847. Similarly, L1 by L3 is equal to J1 by J3 is equal to 1.147. So, you know that the length L1 plus L2 plus L3 is equal to total length already given like 3.5 meters AB section AB, BC and CD is equal to total A to CD total length clear so now calculate by using these two 1 and 2 L2 value and uh, L3 value. So we can write the equation like this L1 is equal to 1 plus L2 by L1 plus L3 by L1 is equal to 3500. So total length is 3500 uh, in mm. So you can write like this. Now substitute. Uh, so this L1 now. Uh, find out L1 value. So from this uh, equation L1 by Lt is equal to you know ratio 8.847. Similarly L1 by L3 L1 by L3 is equal to 1.447. So you know these two ratios L1 by L2 and L1 to L2 and L2 L1 to L3. So by the, using these um, ratios, you may calculate L1, L2 and uh, L3 values. So here uh, substituted uh, those values here 0.847 and 1.447 instead of uh, in place of L2 by L1 and uh, L3 by L1. So now calculate L1 value. So if you know the L1 from equation uh, 1, L1 by L2 is equal to 0.847. So if you know the L1, L2 is equal to L1 by 0.847. So L1 already calculated 1 to 18.8 divided by 0.847. So calculate. So you will get L2 1439 mm. Similarly, from equation 2, equation 2, you may you may written like this L1 by L3 so in the previous equation L1 by L3 is equal to 1.447 so now calculate L3 is equal to L1 by 1.447 so now the obtained uh, values are 842.2 842.2 mm and uh, L2 is 1439 and L3 is uh, 842.2.
So L1, L2, L3 are calculated. Data also calculated. Now need to calculate apply torque. So maximum shear stress given in the problem. The maximum shear stress in the hollow portion tau is equal to forty seven point five mega pascal. So one mega pascal is equal to one newton per mega pascal. So now the shear stress is equal to forty seven point five newton per mm square obtained. The given these values substitute in the torsion equation, the torque equation. So already you know the hollow shaft the, the for solid shaft five by sixteen. Tau into dQ. This is for solid shaft, but uh, hollow shaft. The applied torque is five by sixteen tau to d naught to the four four minus d a to the four four by d naught. So D naught cube you can take uh, outside. So this equation you may return like this: I by sixteen into tau into D naught cube to one minus D I by D I cube. So D I by D I. D naught is equal to K. You may return like this. So suppose if you know the K K value, it is the ratio of inner diameter to outer diameter. You may, you may return like this and substitute in this uh, torque, and you, you will get the torque value is seven thousand nine hundred newton meter. So always the torque value uh, should be in uh, newton meter. So like this, uh, how to calculate length and uh, angular twist and torque and polar moment of inertia values for a given composite uh, uh, composite shaft. So here uh, different uh, section diameters, different uh, diameter shafts are uh, attached, so connected, so joined. So the so that this type of joint is called as composite joint, and also uh, to calculate uh, L1, L2, L3, and uh, L3 different uh, diameters and different uh, lengths are uh, given. So like this, you need to calculate uh, whenever the shaft is subjected to torsional and uh, bending and loads, bending stresses. Clear. So use uh, this. Uh, After that, uh, apply torque equation, uh, tor torsion equation, and then uh, find out the torque. So and then finally, total angular twist. Up to now only we have calculated theta one and theta two and theta three. So these shafts are connected in series. So the total angular twist is equal to the sum of angle. So in series, theta one, theta two, and theta three are same. Theta is equal to the sum of these two, three angular twist, so that add the given uh, the obtained uh, angular twist theta one, theta two, and theta three. So already in the previous step already we calculated as T L by C J, T L one, T L one by C J one, and T L two by C J. First is a T A B and B C and C D section. So take common CBC and uh, apply this equal uh, relation, and substitute all remaining values. T value C and L one already we have calculated in previous step. J one, L two, J two, L three, J three, and uh, calculate in terms of radians and convert into degrees. So obtain the uh, angular twist. Two point four zero six degrees. The twisting angle of the shaft obtained two point four zero six. Like this, we uh, need to solve this type of problems. So these are the references I have taken.
Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.